Hello, 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 everybody, all you handsome people, and welcome to the channel. It's once again your boy Tasers, and we're going to be doing another live commentary today. As you can see, we're dropping in on customs, rocking the MP7. I absolutely adore this gun. And yeah, we're going to be doing a live commentary. We're going to be talking about some things. I say about some things. We're going to be talking about survival rate. Why and how to improve your survival rate, essentially, while trying to play live at the same time. I'll give it my best shot to try and do a live guide. I've never tried this before. You know, I do guides, but playing at the same time, obviously, you know, when I'm in the battle, when I'm in the heat at the moment, I'll lose my train of thought, but that's okay because we're going to give it a go anyway. So as I was saying, I hope you guys are all okay. I hope you guys have had a wicked week, a brilliant weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying Tarkov as much as I am. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, yeah, so what's going on, guys? We want to talk about survival rate, improving your survival rates, how we go about doing this, while at the same time, you know, why should we improve our survival rate? So yeah, we're going to be doing that. We're going to run over here first. We're going to get over, try and get over the bridge. I say the bridge, the lower bridge on customs. Some shots going off in the distance. It should be just, just over here somewhere. So we're going to run over here, always on our guard. And uh, yeah, how do we go about improving our survival rate? So let's have a little think about that. So, the first thing I want you guys to understand is if you want to improve your, improve your survival rate, you've got to understand that everyone's different. And you should never compare yourself to a streamer, to a YouTuber. You should never compare it. Got him. Nice. First kill. Didn't expect him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got him as well. We got him as well. Which, you know, I think I was, I was scared of the bullet ricocheted off his head there. Um, so hopefully that's all of them. I've never had that happen before that someone's literally been here. I've just spawned So yeah, that was fun um, We're gonna fix ourselves up and get our loot on in a second, but we'll go back to talking about survival rate Like I said never compare yourself to a streamer or youtuber understand that everyone's different Everyone has a different play style in escape from Tarkov, you know, no one's the same No, everything works the same for everyone, you know different ways of playing if one person is has success by just running into you know these pvp hotspots and killing everyone great but not everyone's going to have that same success and that's what you got to understand so first thing is find that playstyle that fits you if you want to improve your survival rate then you've got to find the playstyle that is fitting to you right so you know whether whether it's certain routes that you take or you know playing the same map this is, this is another thing always stick to what you know stick to the maps you know if you feel uncomfortable on a map then don't play it if, if your goal is to survive the raid if your goal is to increase your survival rate and maximize profits, because you've got to look at Tarkov like a business, right, guys? You've got to think about it. What, what, is, what do you want in a business? You want to maximize your profits while minimizing your losses. So if we take Tarkov, for example, and we take the example of your survival rate, which is here, up here. So we take the example of your survival rate. We'll check the stashes as well. See if we can find any good loot, because those guys didn't have that great loot on them. Let's say you have a 20% survival rate. That, that, that. But simple mathematics means that you are surviving one in five raids, right guys? That means four out of five raids, you're not surviving. You are losing your loadout. And if you're going into raids with a loadout of 200k, that means that in that one raid where you need to survive, you need to make at least 800k to even break even. That, that, that That's not good, guys. No, uh, I know everyone's survival rate's different, and I don't want to be harsh about it. You know, improving your survival rate, if it means changing your playstyle to a survival rate that helps you more, if that means sticking to a certain map that you know better, then do these things because eventually you're going to profit from them. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, suffer losses and that's not good. Uh, what I heard someone up here. Take him out. Bing, bang, boom. I'm going to run over here. We're going to try and get to Crack House, see if we can get some intel. I believe I just saw a dude over there. Yeah, I did. Oh, God. How the hell is he not dead? How's he black both my arms? What has he shot me with? Oh, uh, heal up, stop the bleed. So yeah, this is a uh, situation, a little scenario. Just trying to listen, see if he pushes me. He's not gonna push. Let's see what he does now. Okay, he's pushing now. And we're going to take him out. That was a mis misplay on his part. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have pushed me. Um, he should have just kind of held and made me push into him. But anyway, GG's dude. Good fight. 
three PMCs already, and we've literally just spawned him. What is going on? Honestly, what the hell is going on right now? This is this is a madness, absolute madness. I can't believe we're just running into PMCs left, right, and center. So anyway, what what was I talking about? I was talking about uh, survival rating. Yeah, sticking to your what you know, sticking because exactly a talk of you got to look at talk of like a business. Your goal is to maximize profits and minimize your losses. And by doing that, it means increase. Okay, I think I had a guy here as well. Another PMC. What is going on? What the hell is going on? Why is everyone here? Another absolute undergeared player. Sorry, sorry, dude. Better luck next time. Um, yeah, crikey. So much is going on right now. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect this for the raid that I'd be doing live. Let's hope we survive this one. Um, so yeah, we want to we want to minimize our losses, and by doing this, that, that means we want to die as little as possible. So if you know finding that playstyle that's efficient for you, that fits you, understanding what works best for you, not copying streamers because streamers are going to be going for content, right? That's what at the end of the day, streamers are out there to go go for content. That's what that's what their goal is, and that means they are going to run around to the hotspots, the PvP hotspots, and try and kill everyone. So you know. Two things is understanding what works best for you, utilizing your play style to profit. And not only that, you want to stick to what you know. So whether it's the map, whether it's the guns, guns also, you know, don't sit there trying guns you've never tried before. If you're very used to a gun, very comfortable in a gun, then stick to that one gun. Use that one gun. There's no reason not to use that one gun. If you're having success, then use it. That's the point, right? Yeah, we're going to loot up this. We're going to fix our arms. Thank God we found a survival kit. Uh, a CMS kit. Sorry about that. Yeah. So we lost both. Both are. We lost a lot of limbs there. But luckily we found a survival kit. So come to the rescue. Our arm has not got much on it though. Hope that doesn't get messed up again. Let's hope we survive this raid as well. That would be awkward if not. Um... <laughs> So yeah, the survival rate is super important in this game. Wherever anyone says at the end of the day, survival rate is the one way we can go off of looking at your profits and losses. Because, you know, like I said, if you look at it like a business point of view, surviving one of five raids, if you average out how much you need to be taken out of that one raid that you survived, like I said, we were at maybe 800k. Are you going to have a successful raid of 800k all the time? No, you're not. Because the average is like what 300k that you're taking out of a raid maybe sometimes so you know think about it from that point of view and just think okay maybe maybe it's time to slow down maybe it's time to figure out a playstyle that'll work for me where it's running around you know the edge of the map but at the same time there's something i also want to talk about is you should never creep around the edges especially for new players okay so if you think of a map i'll actually um i'll, I'll draw a map after this game and i'll post it over the video while I'm uh, healing here, if you think about the map, right? This uh, the map is a giant rectangle or a square, whatever. It's, it's got four corners. And let's say there were four people to spawn in each one of those corners. Yeah, let's say that. And the objective of those four people is to run to the opposite side of the map to extract. Now, the way the game is made, the, ma the way the game is worked, it is meant to have you meet somebody halfway through the map. That is the way the game is built. Like other players, yeah, but. It is inevitable that you'll come across people. So you got to play the rotation of the map. That's the way the game works. That's the way the maps work. You want to play the rotation of the map. And by skipping this rotation, okay, so let's say, you know, you spawned on the bottom left corner of a map and you run to top right corner of the map. By doing this, you're cutting through other people, other spawns that are playing the rotation. And you're not playing the rotation, so you're more likely to encounter players. Right? You're more likely to encounter PvP. And if that's what you're trying to avoid, then don't do this. So, for example, if you spawn at, let's say, you spawn at Factory Far Corner on Customs, and you run straight to Dorms, you're likely to encounter players on the way to Dorms. 100%. It's going to happen. And by the time you get to Dorms, someone's already going to be in there. So, this is what you want to try and avoid. If you spawn in Factory Far Corner, then run down to Old Gas. Like, you loot that area, run down to Old Gas, run past Fortress, run to RUAF, that's your extract. And yeah, you might you might meet a player on the way, but you're going to meet significantly less players on the way 
than if you were to beeline it to dorms for all those spawns. So it's another thing. Playing the rotation of the map. Got some intel back then as well. Realised. That's nice. Um, play the rotation of the map. Try not to get, you know, too off course. And I see a lot of new players crouching in bushes, slowly walking around the map. And I just want to say... Sorry about that. Hit the mic. Hit my nose on the mic. I just want to say, don't do this. Avoid this at all costs. Because what will happen is, people that spawn behind you, if there are people spawning behind you, or people that are running to extract... They're more likely to run past you, see you, and kill you. Not going to lie. You know, hiding in bushes is a very good tactic, but playing it slow, creeping around, you're taking too long, you're going to get killed. Play the rotation of the map and try and do that efficiently. Try and get in and out as fast as possible, while at the same time being aware of the enemies. So, yeah. There's another thing. If you want to improve your survival rate, then just be, be it, try and be a bit less anxious. Don't be as scared to, you know, die and lose your loot. It's okay, it happens, it's inevitable. It's always gonna happen in Tarkov. You can't keep one loadout forever. I've said this before. Um, we're actually gonna run here. We're gonna run into, I think I might run to garage. Yeah, we'll go to garage. Uh, it, it's inevitable that you're gonna die. So there's no point being scared. There's no point being anxious. You're gonna lose your loadout. It's about maximizing the length of having that loadout and it's maximizing the profit of the loadout that you've got on. So. You want to try and make as much money with, with the loadout, right? And you're not going to do this by walking around bushes very slowly, waiting for something to happen, or waiting, hoping for something good to just fall out the sky. That's not going to happen. So you want to play the map. You want to play the map efficiently. You want to get around. Walking, running, fine. Don't sit in a bush and wait for ages. That's not going to get you any money. That's going to get you killed. Um, Yeah, I want to talk about armor as well. Uh, when it comes to Tarkov, you should understand how armor works, what armor is efficient, what armor is like, cost efficient, what armor is not cost efficient, so what armor will eventually or essentially get you killed. Try and avoid these armors. We're going to run over to the train track now. It was a pretty, pretty, um, pretty mad early game with four PMCs just kind of all running at me. Um, it's been pretty dead since then, I'm not going to lie. But we'll, we'll avoid Fortress because, you know, like I, like I say, I'm quite late. Someone could already be in there. I've got, like I said, four kills. I've got a decent amount of loot on me and I'm not willing to risk that right now. So, you know, it was, it was a fun raid and there's no reason to look for more PvP. My arms are pretty messed up, pretty low HP. I don't want to risk anything too much. Um, so, yeah, like, like I said, at the end of the day, Tarkov is a business. Nice little, little vest there. We're going to throw everything in there. Take that. At the end of the day, Tarkov is a business and it's about utilizing and maximizing your profits and cutting your losses. That, that, that's how the game works. <laughs> and, you know, that's why you want to improve your survival rate because improving your survival rate means you're going to improve the amount you spend, like improve the amount you make, essentially, rubles wise. And, yeah, a lot of people I know struggle in the early game with rubles and loadouts, and that's going to affect you because. If you haven't got as good a gun or good a bullets, or if you haven't got, you know, your armor's only tier 3 because you can't afford the tier 4, or it's locked or whatever, you know, that's, all this stuff's going to affect you, so it's all stuff that you need to take in mind. That's why you want money, and that's why you want a good survival rate, and I'd say, like, above 33% is, is a good survival rate, because that means you're surviving 1 in 3 raids, which, that, that, that's okay, you know, it... it it's doable. 40 to 60% is where you want to really aim for. Um, so yeah, do what works best for you because that's where you're going to kind of profit the most. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go into old gas here, see if that's up. It is not. It is not up, I'm afraid. I heard something over it as well. Let's be careful here. So yeah. Anyway, I just want to say also, right guys, I feel like it was like a day ago, I was like, oh, we're almost at 100 subs, right? Well, not 100, 200 subs, but we've almost made it to 200 subs. And now this channel has absolutely exploded, like we're getting subs by, by, by the hour, like a couple of subs, and maybe it doesn't seem like much, but to me it's absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely, I love doing these videos, it's so much fun, I get a kick out of helping you guys to hear that. Helped you in a positive way 
that makes me so happy and so proud and such a good sense of achievement for me. So I'm really happy with the way things are going. The way it's looking, I would honestly... Uh, please, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe. Because like I said, I'm going to be putting out these videos hot and heavy. I'm putting so much effort into it. I'm taking time out of my own personal life. Oh, I knew I heard someone. I knew it. it was somewhere around there. Let's chase him. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to... You know, I'm, wor I'm working hard. It's a passion of mine. I'm getting better from every video to video. I promise you guys that... You I won't disappoint when it comes to content. Um, sorry. <laughs> I might try and jump up and see if he, he probably flanked up top. I don't know. I don't want to lose this guy. I want to kill him. He looks like he's got decent gear. So yeah. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the absolute best. I, have ne I, I never thought that I'd be... Or have this much success in such a short period of time. And I can I only have you guys to thank. You know, because you guys are the motivation. I just want to help people in Tarkov. Because I understand that, you know, not everyone is landmark. Not everyone is this. There's no way that that was a scab. There is no way I was fighting a scab this whole time. No way, dude. And he almost kills me. Was that a player scab or just an actual scab? There's no way. Unbelievable. Yeah, so it's, I understand that not everyone's landmark, and I understand also that people tend to, you know, be kind of toxic towards newer players, which I don't think is fair. So that's why it's really important for me to help you guys put some enjoyable content out there for you guys so you can have lots of fun watching it, learn a few things maybe. I hope that I'm helping you in some way. I really do, because it's so important to me. And I'm really, really hoping that we can hit, like, you know, the next goal of 500 subscribers. If we can do that in, like, the next couple of weeks. Oh, my God. Absolutely amazing. Over the moon. And if we hit 500 subscribers, I will. I will be doing a giveaway. I just want to throw it out there. I will be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. I believe he's running here. Yeah, he has. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was close. That was close, man. I knew, I knew it wasn't, I knew it wasn't a scav. I knew it. So yeah, we're going to try and get out and uh, we're going to heal up and we're going to try and get out now. This is, this is a bit too much now. Got no arms left. Got little stump arms. We're like that dude from Scary Movie, you know. My strong hand. You know that guy. <laughs> that's, that's right now. Uh, oh, a moonshine. And some chalky chalk. That'll go down well. A little bit of moonshine and some chalky chalk. Um, so yeah, honestly, I appreciate all you guys' support, and as a sign of my appreciation, I will be doing, when we hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway, a slightly larger giveaway this time, because I am honestly so proud of you guys, and it is amazing what you guys are doing. I have nothing, no one else to thank other than you guys, you guys are honestly making my day. So yeah, I really appreciate the support, and I hope that we can continue to grow as a channel. And I consider this channel also like a family, a community where we can all help each other, essentially. That, that's, that's the goal. To help each other in Taco. And eventually, I hope that one day that, you know, I will, I will be trying to stream. I'm new to this stuff, so obviously learning day to day. But the goal is to eventually stream and build, you know, a small following on Twitch so that we can help other people as well while, while being live on Twitch and having some, uh, having some... I can't find my bag. Where's my bag? Where did I drop my bag? The downside to dropping your bag in a fight is that you got to remember where you dropped it. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost my bag. There's no way I'm leaving this raid without that bag. There's a couple of good pieces of gear in there. I don't want to lose it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where the hell did I drop it? It was like down here somewhere. Ah, there it is. There it is. We got there, boys. We got there. So, what was I saying? Yeah. So, please, honestly, if you're interested in future content, if you're interested in things like giveaways and stuff like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we will be putting out fast. And, you know, I am having so much fun. You guys are making my day. And, obviously, the faster we get there, the faster the giveaway comes. Not just that. But, you know, there's a lot of other perks to 
more subscriber count and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're interested or if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate it. Let's run over here, see if this extract's up because old gas wasn't up. Let's hope no one else is around, even though we killed like half a server. Oh, sniper scav. God. Jesus. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, I hope it helped. Like I said, improve your survival rate. Simple, couple of simple tips thrown in there. Stick to the stuff you know. Understand what works for you and stuff like that. Put it all together and your survival rate will increase. So with that, I hope you guys have a nice day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you've got any questions, like always, leave a comment. I will always get back to you guys. Once more, please hit that subscribe button because we are... Honestly, it's astonishing what's going on right now with this channel. I'm so, so happy. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a nice day. And peace out, guys. Peace out.